Howdy, folks. Shabby's back. And he's back to... I've been thinking about this. He's back to go back to Broken Railroad, I think. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's, do, let's, let's discuss this decision. I think... I think I was a, in, got into a bit of a hurry on the last stream. Maybe I, it's all the excitement of throwing a boom can at a group of ptarmigans might might be might have been the reason that we got so excited although we did totally blow that totally botched we got to redeem ourselves on that one but i think i got just a little caught up in everything and got in a hurry and i think left probably left before i needed to because there's a couple of things that i really probably should have crafted before I left. One of them is a knife. I probably should have a knife on this side of the map. It's called a crafting knife, I guess. But we need a knife over here so we can go forge. We can make it at the Bro at Broken Railroad Forge. But also, I want to have a, tra a, tra a Travis, otherwise known as a Travoy in this uh in the far territories at least one i need one over here and i don't have any i have five and then a, another thing too is my bow is in kind of it's in pretty bad shape it's not terrible but i'm gonna you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go to forsaken airfield i might do a little bit of hunting and then we're gonna go into the zone of contamination where there's lots of wolves that are aggressive so there's probably going to be a lot of killing, I would imagine. I don't want this bow to break on me. That would be a bad, that'd be a bad situation. So with all those factors, I think let's head back to, we need to head back to Broken Railroad. <laughs> so there we go. There, I laid it all out. And Rootbeard's here. Welcome, Rootbeard. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Yeah, Rootbeard, I don't know if you heard all that, but I basically have decided to go... I have to go back to Broken Railroad. Gotta go back. Got too many... Too many potential problems that could come up if I don't... If I don't take care of... Mainly just make a knife. We really just need to make a knife. And uh, so we can have a, a... We can make a bow. I'm not sure if I'll make a bow. I probably will just go ahead and make the bow in Broken Railroad. But I think that's what's going on. That's 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 the issue. That's the issue. So let's sleep f through the night and then we'll head back in the morning. I don't have any water. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> let's see. Here we go. <laughs> I I have yes. Good. That is an excellent question, Rootbeard. I do have coal on me and I did leave four pieces of coal at the um at Broken Railroad so I was you know I, le I left coal enough coal to do a to do a forge so as long as I don't throw them in first that's the that's the main thing you gotta avoid don't do that oh we have a we got a new mouse so oh, look at this look at this Woo! hey Nuka Good to see you. We have a new mouse. We have a new mouse with the wheel that works. So exciting. So exciting. Okay. All right. Let's sleep. Let's just sleep through the night. Well, we'll sleep through part of the morning here. Yeah, new mouse height, baby. <laughs> yeah, Nuka, we're headed back to Broken Railroad. I need to make a knife. I think that's probably a good plan. A good plan. All right, let's take some metal for said knife. I mean, I guess we can maybe craft some more. Um, I think there's nothing to do here. I'm gonna check and see if there if any. Deers have, deer have spawned in. I just said deers. Oh. Don't say it that way, Shad. Uh, 
Okay. Thought I heard a noise over there, but yeah, no, no deer up in here. What did I say before that they became engineers or something like that? I, we were rhyming. I was just realizing everything rhymed with deer. <laughs> um, yeah, that's so strange. I can only assume that they just don't spawn in here. And I I know I'm almost 100% sure on Shabby's Backcountry Kitchen that that run was a, a vanilla interloper run. No fancy, no bells or whistles, no fancy stuff. And I had deer, I had two deer, or two or three deer in here, and then they, I even had respawn on them. So I had a big giant pile of deer meat in here. So it's kind of strange. I don't know. Wait a minute. Oh, here's a travoy. <laughs> Okay, all right. You know what? I need to name these Travises. This would be maybe this will be Travis one. Well, I think we have four Travois now. Hang on. Hang on now. One at the farmhouse. Oops, sorry. One at the farmhouse. One at Spence's. One here. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe I forgot I left this here. And then there's. That might be it. Oh, Coastal Highway. Four. We have four. We have four Travises. I wish we could name them. I wish we could, like, spray paint them or something. That would be cool. Shot a deer in the rear, but it landed on a slope to shear. <laughs> uh, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful poetry. Okay. All right. Obviously, we're not doing anything with that. Let's let's. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's let's focus, Shabby. Focus. Let's get out of here. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like almost everything rhymes with deer, and then once you go down that road, it's it's scary. It can go to scary places. I just want to see if there was... I think there was some coal. No, no, no. The coal... There's coal back there. I want, I'm curious to see if it respawns or not. I bet it does. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a little maglens fire here. Let's do that. Travis Scott, Travis Tritt, and Travis Barker, Travis Stever. I don't know who Travis Stever is, but we have I'm talked about. There. So Travis Scott, <clears throat> I, th I thought was Michael Scott, <laughs> but no, Travis Scott's somebody else. Travis Barker's the only. Well, Travis Tritt and Travis Barker, those are only two I really know on the on that list. Um, let's see. We're just gonna use teas to warm up, I guess. Let's just do that. Throw some mushroom teas down. Coheed and Cambria? I've never heard of that. But, you know, I'm out of the loop. I listen to a bunch of old, crusty old music. <laughs> Actually, I play in a band, but I play fiddle, and we play, like, jazz standards and old country, mainly. But we do branch off into other things, but those are, the, those are sort of like the old, old country, you know, Hank Williams and, and, uh, Patsy Klein type country. Best prog band in the world. Okay. I'll check them out. Let's see here. Let's get a big T. There we go. Alright. Of course, we're, f we're completely full. We're completely hydrated, so...
Oh yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. Travis the first. I was thinking just Travis one. You know, maybe like more like a vehicle or something. <clears throat> you know, models of the same vehicle. So Travis one through four. Nothing fancy like that. Didn't even think about giving it a last name. Should I leave my vest here? Let's let's leave the vest. Let's leave the vest. I don't think there, there's only a couple of wolf possibilities, so I'm just I'm just gonna risk it a little bit. I don't think it's a big risk. There we go. So I'm not even using my thermos. All right, now let's see if we can get these in here real quick. Boom, bada boom, bada bing, shabadoo, shabadoo, shabading. Now look, we can even run. Oh my goodness, look at all that. Look at all that white. Uh oh, I got stuck. Stuck on something. Piece of snow. The insurmountable piece of snow. Gotta look out for that. My fingers feel numb. All right, we're just gonna hustle back. We gotta hustle back. So Okay, so now the now the need for Travoy, obviously, there's not one. So I um, have to recalibrate here now. I do need to make a knife, and I need to make a bow. Those are the main things. I have enough materials to make another Travoy, and we do we still need one up at Mountain Town, and we need one on the other side of the map like uh, uh timberwolf mountain we need a we need a travoy up there too and i think that's it i think that's all of my travoys that i want to have in the world are just in those regions this does not put out much light at all Oh, look out. Oh no. Stuck. It was three inches of rock. I couldn't get over it. I just watched Zach's video about uh, winter survival. Man, it makes you really appreciate this game a lot. Like, oh, this is an amazing game compared to that. I mean, that is still in development, but man. Long Dark is definitely, you know, it's got some really, really great things about it whenever you compare it to other games like that. Might as well make arrowheads. Yeah, I was, yeah, I, yeah, I think that's a good idea, Rootbeard. Absolutely. Oh, have you? Okay. I, th I think I've seen a, I think I've seen a couple other streamers or whatever you call them youtubers I don't know uh, I've seen a couple other reviews of that game and yeah it didn't it did not impress me but like Z Zach really s just kind of really got into the like nitty-gritty of why it's got problems. Okay, here's our first possible wolf spot. But we were just through here, so I don't know. It would have to spawn in within like the last, you know, half a day here.
Okay, let's run up into this cave. Let's run up into this cave. We'll warm back up. Maybe we'll cook those wolf steaks that have been sitting there forever. Hey, pest! How's it going? How's it going? Welcome in. I tried watching someone play it and it looked really bad, but I don't know how much know much about it. Looking forward to Zach's video. Yeah, he he really really dives into it. Okay. All right, here we are. Here we are. Let's just warm back up. Cook these wolf steaks, I guess. Might as well. I really wish we could get some food at the frickin' uh, at the the vacant depot. That would be nice to have. But again, there's no there's no deer in the area, and I don't know why. Yeah, Pess, I don't know if you we're here but I'm headed back to Broken Railroad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to forge. I've decided my, my bow is at 40% or so and I'm afraid I'm gonna get into the zone of contamination and my bow is gonna break and so we don't even have a knife over here on this side of the of the map so I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a knife and then maybe make a bow right away I don't know but I at least need to re I really just need to have a knife here just in case I was also going to make a Travoy, but I just realized I have a Travoy sitting at uh, the vacant depot. <laughs> I just left it there, and so it's been there for a long time. I had completely forgotten about it. And I think we have, we have four, I don't think, uh, we have four Travois in the world right now. Uh, you know, each requiring a name, obviously. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to go the, um, the musician... Travis musician route or not? I don't think so. Um, but you know, Travis one through four also isn't very exciting. So I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. We don't have to do anything right now. We don't have to make any moves. Oh, and here's the real. This is the the real special thing right here. Is we have. We have a mouse wheel. We have a working mouse wheel. That's the most important part. Let's see, should I eat these? That's the that's another question. I guess we I guess so. I guess we're eating them. Make a cheater bow? I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah, there are a ton of work mitches there. That's true. I was thinking about it, Pest. I've I haven't done it before. Let's see here. Let's throw another. Let's get a let's get a torch. Okay. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. Here we go. Let's uh, skit scat and shadabble doodle our way out of here. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a uh, do it with the devil face. Okay. <laughs> Just should I feel guilty about this? No, it's like a basically you make the you make the bow within like you know thirty minutes of completion or something along those lines, and then it weighs nothing. <laughs> Wait, did you take the mouse out of your kid's allowance? <laughs> We're putting ketchup in it. Hard lesson about ketchup. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, we. So you make the bow within, within like a certain, like basically not. You basically make a ninety-nine percent complete bow, and it weighs nothing in your inventory. So you can just carry that around, and whenever you need a bow, you can just find a work. Do you have to find a workbench, and then you just. Do you even need a tool to complete it, Pest? I don't know. I've never done it before. It's just the fact that you're carrying a bow, uh, a brand new bow, bow around with you that weighs nothing. That's that's the the cheating part. Is it doesn't weigh anything? So.
Oh, you would do that for uh, Wolf Wrangler? Oh, let's go over this. Almost forgot. Oh, okay, a hatchet works. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm going to leave the knife at Broken Railroad. I mean, I don't think it's cheating. I don't think it's cheating. I wouldn't... I don't know. I call it cheesy. It's cheesy. Rose hips. I don't know why, but the different rose hip sizes makes me happy. I like I, I like this. I don't know why this makes me happy having giant ones. And then these medium ones, and then there's even some teeny tiny ones that you'll find in Ash Canyon. I like that. I don't know why. It just makes me happy. The variability. I like the variability of it. It's not that bad. I mean, if you're not looting, you can get back to Broken Railroad pretty quick. And you're not, like, you know, carrying every single thing and making separate runs to the Travoy. <laughs> I think Pess might get that one. It super annoys me that the ones that clearly have 24 rose hips only give you eight now oh right right oh did that was there used to be did you used to be able to get more than eight off of a single bush can you use the that strat during his outfit or run where the goal is to craft 10 of each item and bring them okay so he used uh, well if Kimmy Oda did it then it's totally fine absolutely That's what I'd say, Nuka. I said that the other day. So, oh yeah, it was whenever I walked out of the cave and then walked back in, and then the and the uh, to make the deer carcass spawn in. Yeah, and somebody said made a comment. You know, it was wasn't like in a mean way, but made a comment, and I was like, yeah, it's just like that's just what the game. Do. I'm just playing the game as it is, you know. Gotta go by box. Say hi to box, box Carl, everyone. Hello, box Carl. <sighs> All right, we might need these torches for. The maintenance shed wolves, which there were none yesterday. Well, actually, I take that back. There was one, I think we killed the day before, but then, you know, when we were coming back from that moose kill, there were no wolves around. That was really strange. But th watch, they're gonna, there's gonna be like, there's gonna be like 15 or 20 wolves now, now that we're coming back. That's how it works. So, uh, I don't know, was it Nuka that you were theorizing it had something to do with the the moose being up? Was it... I, and I don't know if this is true or not, but does it despawn? Would it despawn the wolves if there's a moose up at that time or something? I don't know. Okay. We'll get the top trailer. Moose is on the lake. I'm trying to think where you're talking about. Oh, in Mountain Town. 
Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well then, there we go. That's... Sorry, I'm looking for ptarmigans. Um, yeah. I didn't know that. So that's good Good to know. So that... Oh, there was a ptarmigan here. There's one ptarmigan. What is going on with the ptarmigans? They're, they're depopulating on us. I guess the... Oh, wait, wait. Here he is. There he is. No, wait, he turned, he turned. I still see it. <laughs> Ooh, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. That'd be amazing to hit one like that. I, I'm gonna keep trying that. I'm gonna eventually do it. I will eventually do it. I'm gonna luck out. No, those were, those were, uh... Those were... Fire hardened. At least I think they were. <laughs> Did I mess that up? I think they were fire hardened. Throw, throw away arrows, you know? <laughs> I mean, maybe they landed over here somewhere on the roof. That would be pretty cool. I have no idea. That would be fun to find, too. play a little game at some point just finding arrows and stuff oh yeah that is the question oops oh no 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 hurry hurry quick uh, uh, no 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 oh wait still have it oh <laughs> it automatically lit a match i messed up i was, I was panicking I, pa I was panic clicking and, and i and i screwed myself that's okay come on little fire come on I like how she's still cheering for it. Astrid, the moment is gone. Yeah, I don't... I think they fixed that, but... I haven't seen it to, to really know. But I I, th I think... I thought I read, I read somewhere or heard someone say that they fixed the... Carcasses just floating. Like the dead carcass floating in the air. Um, that's not going to stop me from trying to shoot them, though. I'm going to still try. All right. Well, let's just throw a let's throw a, uh let's throw that on just to be doing something. Okay. Now, what do we need to do? We need a hammer. We need. Let's move these crackers over. Oh no! I don't have any. Wait! 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 Hang on. We got to find a better spot for these pies. We'll put them down here. Crackers, crackers have a little, they need to be nice and tucked away in there. Oop. There we go. Oh, baby. Kind of, sort of. Look at this, using our mouse wheel. How nice is that? Okay. All right, just thinking. I'm thinking here. I'll rest soon. I'm gonna faint. All right, we need to get some wood, and then we can. Then we can. Uh... Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just I just remembered something I wanted to say. I was, I was. Uh, uh, I noticed that Nuka mentioned. Nuka mentioned something about the fight getting a fire buff. I know what it was. It was a fire buff. And whenever I read your chat, I was just like, I had buff. I had like food buffs on the brain, so I didn't get what you were saying. But you were saying that this fire does have an out outdoor buff. And uh, and the funny part was like after you said that, I was like, I wonder if I'm getting an outdoor fire buff. There's no way to tell. I guess I guess I'll have to figure that out later. But you were actually literally telling me like, yeah, there, you're getting a fire buff here, so that's pretty good. Good to know. This really is an outdoor space. We are outdoors right now, so that's more proof of the fact that this is an outdoor area. 
not to encourage more farting with item placement, but did you make sure the older stuff was in front? Oh, like, oh, be, so like the, the expiration date, you might, you might say? Yeah, get the uh, the ones that are going to expire sooner up front, so people will buy the older stuff first. Exactly, Pest. I hear you. Those are, these are important things to look into. I would do anything for a drink right now. Oh, man. Oh wait, do we have a? I thought. Oh, we have more sticks. Okay, I thought it was out of sticks. Okay. All right. Let's go for. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get the fire and let's go forging. I hope I have enough fuel laying around where I can. You know, be efficient with my coal. But I don't know what the situation is in here. I mean, there's plenty of wood laying around, but... Oh, man. Not even... Un not, not even unclaimed? Oh, man. Okay. Or reclaimed? It's unclaimed. And then it becomes claimed reclaimed wood right i think that's how it works it's unclaimed previously unclaimed re on, never mind <laughs> i'll just stop just stop shabby nonsense Ooh, oh <laughs> Uh, slow down, Shabby. Oh my god. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna slowly build up a fire without coal here. Let's let's get let's get going. 39 minutes. Okay, we can do that. I might as well just, just throw the book in there too. Hey, is there was that inside the I think that was inside. Or was it on top? I didn't even notice. Make sure Pash Shabby didn't leave some by the burn barrel. Uh, oh, over there? Oh, yeah, maybe. I'll check it out. Probably should check and see if I got metal too. I mean, that's something else. All right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no loose wood anywhere. Okay. Okay. About the fire, I also learned recently the fire buff is given depending on where the character is located. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that for the longest time. I didn't know that for the longest time, but I don't know how long ago. It wasn't that long ago that I learned that as well. Now, what's it need to get to? 70 Celsius? Is that right? I think we need to get it to 70. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was this year old when I learned it too. Oh, really? Um, yeah, it's like, I was always taught that it was where the fire was placed, but it's actually like, if I went outside right now, this fire would get the outdoor buff. Right, except for I don't remember, uh, is it 150? I guess maybe it'll tell you. Yeah, 150, so 130, 10, 90, 70. Yep. Okay. So we gotta get up to 70. Or 50. If I want to use five pieces of coal. Nothing wrong with that. It's okay.
Okay. See, we need four degrees here. How much is uh, this wood? How much is that gonna do? Three. It does three degrees. There we go. Okay, now let's throw some coal on. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I was just making sure they were going in because it gets pegged at 12 hours here. Okay, so let's let, let that heat up. I'm going to check my metal situation here because I don't have much metal, unfortunately. Um, let's go outside and see. Let's go outside and see what we have stored away. Hey, love my Kia. I'm not allowed to make sure. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be, I don't know how to, I'm not sure how to not do that. Let's, I'm not sure. I guess just, right, it's maybe just here. close my eyes. No metal. We got some cans, but those aren't, yeah, no scrap. All right, we could break down a pry bar with our bare hands. We could do this. There are a couple of buckets. Oh, I'm not allowed to check the four time. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's grab some buckets. I don't know if, uh, man, we're going to run out of, we're going to run out of light. Unfortunately, might have to use, might have to use Mr. Spelunky for special, special operation here. Now we do have a jerry can. So, oh, look at this. We got this lamp here. Let's grab that lamp. Alright, now what else we got? I'm just going to try to find all the metal I can. And then we can... Because I want to make... I want to make... Arrows... With that whatever's left over. Doubt if there's anything up here. The chair you can break down, but that's... When it comes to metal, you want to look for increments of 15 minutes. That's sort of the ideal. So like every fifth, one piece of metal per 15 minutes. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, I murdered Lampy. <laughs> murdered. That's pretty harsh, dude. I'm, I'm using it. I'm changing it into another form, that's all. I'm going to get to a certain point on this run where I'm going to really need metal. Because I'm going to have to repair some of these things. I'm going to need to do fishing. There's all kinds of, you know, just stuff kind of towards the end that I need to be aware of. Oh, here's another bucket right here next to the... We'll get that once it gets too dark. Oh, there's another bucket. Oh, man, I didn't realize there were so many great metal sources in here. Let's see if it lets me do this. Okay. Let's go dismembered. Okay. <laughs> Much better. Much better. Okay. Another bucket. Now, let's see if it'll let us do this or not. It's going to get too dark here pretty soon. Okay. got eight metal now it's pretty good how much for a knife is it three or four I can't remember it's three okay so that'll leave us with we can still make eight arrowheads that's pretty good but I'd like to go for more now see here this this is perfect this is a perfect ratio right here that's what you want 
Now the, the fire is within sight, so this might actually work out okay. Let's see. We've made Lampy actually useful now. It's happier this way. <laughs> that's right. That's that's the bright side. Oh, we have 24% left on our hacksaw. Look out. Look out. I need to find food. So we're going to have to use a piece of metal to repair our hacksaw as well. All right, what we got? All right, we're good on the temp there. That's awesome. 19%. Oh, man. This is scaring me. Okay. All right. I think we're about ready. Let me uh, let me just do one more little scan. Let's try to get all the metal we can before we get going on this. We're going to take some fatigue damage, but that's okay. All right, no more. Oh, here's another bucket. All right, now we need to. Okay, one more thing. Well, not one more thing. Another thing. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna make Lampy much more useful to to everybody in this post-apocalyptic world. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Let's get this first. Where's, where's, oh, there's not much, not much here. We gotta make sure we're not, we don't use all of it. Okay, there's, okay. I hate, I hate, I hate to send my, I hate to send my jerry cans to Narnia. I don't like doing that. I always try to prevent that from happening. As you were sawing Lampy apart, I heard him say, I regret that I have but one piece of scrap metal to give for my shabby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is such a patriotic lamp. I don't know patriotic to shabby. Shabbyotic? Shab no. I do respect the loyalty of the lamp, though. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was going to do... Wait a minute. I'm going to get another bucket. One more bucket. That's why we filled up Lampy. Or, er, Mr. Spelunky, how dare I? Oh, my God. I called Mr. Spelunky Lampy on accident. Oh, my goodness. Fourteen percent. Okay, that's it. I cannot use that hacksaw anymore until I repair it. Yeah, he's dramatic. It's such a drama. He's His heart was already broken when Shabby ditched him for Mr. Spelunky. <laughs> My goodness. What's happening here? What is going on? Okay, eight hours. Again, we're going to take some fatigue damage. That's okay. All right, improvised knife incoming. Love is happening here. I love it. Okay. Now look at this. We can make 16 more arrows. Oh my god. Well, we don't want to do that. We want to make we want to save some for the hacksaw repair. So, let's actually um damn, I might want to do that first. No, we'll save two. We'll save two pieces of metal for the hacksaw. I think that'll be fine. That'll work. I'm gonna need more food, though, unfortunately. So one more trip outside. Here we go. <laughs> wow, wow, you're now you're mixing up the names. Oh, I know. It's it's getting rough. I'm get, it's it's just all the it's too, there, I have too many things going on. It's hard for me to concentrate. That's my excuse, at least. I I hope I hope somehow Mr. Spelunky will forgive me.
All right, here we go. Love happens at the Love Lodge. I still have not heard that story. I gotta get that story at some point. I mean, that that lodge is some place that I think I could cozy up with another survivor. You know, live out the rest of our lives up up there at the lodge. I think that'd be nice. I got I grabbed all a bunch of small pieces of meat. Bear bites. Okay, we got four hours on there. Let's start cranking on these. It's missing a toilet. You're right. Exactly. That is the weird thing about that. Okay. Alright, make, just making sure I'm not going to screw anything up here. Arrowheads. Here we go. Can't have it all. No, unfortunately. I mean, you got to settle. You're going to have to settle a little bit whenever, you know, the world is pretty much completely destroyed. You're going to have to do some settling. Unfortunately, that's, that's just the reality. Alright, man. Okay, I think I have enough food in me to do this. So we're going to do two, we'll do four more arrowheads, and then that's it. Oh, wait, wait, we're running out of uh, time here. Let's, I know how to do something. Two hours. All right, let's do it. I need to find food. This fire is pretty much going to go out right when I'm done. There's four minutes left. Okay, I don't need a fire. Let's just go on outside and uh, go to sleep. Sleepy time. Maybe there's a hole for that in that crazy overhang room with the insulated floor. The uninsulated floor. Oh yeah, well there's yeah, we can improvise. Improvise toilet. That's one of the hidden crafting uh craftable items. Improvise toilet in the uh, Well, actually you just get one of these buckets, really. Get one of those metal buckets and you're and you're good. That's it. Problem solved. All right, now we need to recover. We got to recover. And I don't have any birch bark made or anything. And I use I used to always have I used to always make sure I had birch bark made. But I have really been slipping lately. Yep, yeah, nothing. We're just gonna have to heal. Well, I could have one of these prepper's pies. But I like to save that for more of a you know, emergency type situation. Okay, let's sleep for 10 hours. Try to get it back. Oh yeah, this is a weird thing, Nuka. Though, I just realized you can't make... This is the... This is what... This is what makes this room such a weird place. Is that it pretty much has all the the all the trappings of a outdoor space except for you can't make a you can't make a maglens in here you have to walk outside to make a maglens otherwise i mean cuz i mean essentially it's sort of like a think of it like it's a fishing hut you know what i mean it's almost just like a fishing hut you can make a fire in here you're it's it's considered outdoors i mean there is a, there is the warmth bonus though so, it's like a, I guess it's probably, it is weird. This is strange. It's strange, because I was going to say it's like the interior of a cave, the interior part of the cave, except for you're getting the, you're getting the, bu the bonus, the fire, the outdoor buff on your fire. So, I don't know, it's, 
it's it's unique. Let's just say. Uh, should we should we go for it? Maybe we should just go for it. I can grab a I can grab a maple. In a in a cured gut. No, let's just make it here. Let's make it here. Let's do it. Come to think of it, I have gone just outside the door to do my... Yeah, me too. Yeah, you have to. You have to go outside to do the maglins. Oh, I always go to that table. I always think it's the workbench. Every single time. Down here, Shabby. Down here. It's kind of like the park office in Mountain Town. Yep. Oh, it is? Okay, so you can't get cabin fever in that building? I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, it's warmer too. So maybe it is just like the... Maybe they are very, very much the same kind of... Okay. Can you make a floor... Can you make a fire in on the floor? In the, in the, in the park office. Because you can make one in this one, which is also another weird part about it. Yeah, try maglins and try to make a fire on the floor and see and see if you can. Or somebody should. That's what I love about this game is like if you want to find something out, you actually have to start a new game and then and then find matches and then work your way over to like the spot. You know, you don't you don't have to do all that, but depending on what your starting gear is and stuff, but I do think that's funny that you have to if you want to figure something out in this game, you actually have to like start a new game and get the things together and travel to that spot and all that stuff. Okay. Enough talking, Shabby. <laughs> what am I making? I'm making a bow. We're making a bow. And I don't have enough gear. I didn't get two. I need two guts, not one. Two guts. Feels like night is coming. Hey, Oscar. Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Now, I think Oscar... Are you the one that came up with the name Travis, or was that Cindy? It was you or Cindy that came up, that accidentally said Travis. And that's really has spun out into a whole, a whole world of, of things <laughs> for us. <laughs> oh, Cindy did? Okay. All right. Oh boy, don't move, Shabby. You're gonna die. You'll kill yourself. And some wires. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. Alright. Don't starve, Shabby. Don't starve. Oh, wait, we gotta stop, right? Boom. Let's see. Now, see what we got here. We got, we got a bow right here, 100% complete, and it weighs nothing. Look oh, at that. I've never been so hungry in my life. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, now let's, oh man, that scares me. I'm going to go around. Going around. Ugh. Okay, so let's leave the knife here. Well, let's leave all let's leave the things that we need to leave. Okay, leaving the hammer. We're leaving the knife. I'm going to try to repair this before I go to sleep. And yeah, that's it. And then and then like Pest was saying we can complete the bow with the with the hatchet. So bada boom bada bing, skit, skit scat and skidab doodle our way to a new bow. And if you're wondering what I'm saying, it's called shababbling. It's that's a new it's a term for, for that type of language I'm speaking. Do not taunt happy fun light. Yes, yeah, we're gonna fix the saw right now. Nev got fried in there. The Aurora turned out like a switch. Yeah, 
Oh man, yeah, like last night I was, I, yesterday I was running across those wires because of the same thing, because I have seen people just die just from like literally just, just walking over, or, or, or like the, the aurora just kicks in all of a sudden. Okay. Oh my god. I'm glad I have a lot of food here. Could have been trouble. That was another reason why I thought, well, I should go back. Because I have food there and I can do a bunch of crafting. But I was thinking I was going to cr uh, craft, craft a Travoy as well. You can learn on Duolingo? <laughs> Shababbling? <laughs> uh, okay. Focus. Focus. Here we go. I wonder if the quality tools failed. Are you... F Shit. I failed. <laughs> Alright, well we have a 34% hacksaw now. That's... Oh, that's, at least it's not going to break on us. Any second. Oh man, that sucks. Oh well. Okay, well, we'll just have to do it. Oh yeah, it's so hard for me to focus sometimes. Especially when there's a bunch of people talking. I want to join in on all the fun. Okay, now, let's sleep, and then in the morning, we'll head out. This place is growing me on growing on me in my game. Yeah, I once the I never really used this room that much until the far territories came out and and on this particular run I'm like it's it's like basically my second main base, which is crazy, but that's just how it is when there's no mystery lake in the mix. Okay, let's look through our stuff real quick and then we'll head out. Yeah, and you got to take real quick with a grain of salt, too, so that's... Okay, we're going to... Oh, look at this little tiny little piece. Look, we still got a stack of coastal fish cakes ready to be used at a, at a drop of a hat. Okay. I think we're... Oh, look at our... We gotta get some ptarmigans, y'all. We gotta get some ptarmigans. All right. I guess that we could head out. I'm tempted to bring these tools with me. I can't remember what we have the far territories though, and I I think we have quality tools there. I'm not certain though. Okay. Lily's pancakes? Hmm. What's what's Lily's pancakes? Maybe we can start the day off with some Lily's pancakes. Let's see here. Maple syrup, peaches, acorn ground. Let's do it. Let's make some pancakes before we go. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. All clear, kid. All clear. You're a bucket away from a decent one? No, no, no. We're going to make... We'll, we'll repair it. We, we will repair it. I'm not stuck and do it right now. It'll happen, though. That hacksaw is in rough shape, though. Okay, let's make some Lily's pancakes, y'all. We need those. We need that. We need one of these. Okay. Pest does not agree. <laughs> Pest is like, you need to fix that hacksaw.
Oh no, wait, what? What am I missing? Probably water or something. Yeah, water. Let's just get some water going. There we go. Boom. Alright. Lily's pancakes incoming. Oh boy. I don't think I've made these yet. Sweet! We're elevating the peach, folks. We're elevating the peach. In fact, let's just make another set of pan. Let's just make two sets of pancakes. I mean, I can't think of a better reason to use the... Or a better thing to use the peaches on than... Maybe click camber flight, but this is a close second. I only found out the other day that if you have frostbite, you can use the recipe. It temporarily gets rid of it. Oh, really? So, this will give you like a... I think it gives you a 10% buff on your max condition. I think, and I think that's how it's getting overwritten that way or something. It could be a bug, though. You're right, Pest. <laughs> could totally be a bug. Let's make another... We're gonna we're doing two sets of Lily's pancakes. Shabby's a hungry. He, he needs those pancakes to keep to keep them going. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna. I don't want to overuse. I don't want to overuse it. So, but we're gonna use it one last time today. We're gonna skit scat and shadabble doodle our way out of here. Over to the far territories, baby. get some teas ready to go. I probably should make more teas, but that's okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and eat one of these. Oh, baby. Now, check this out. Let's see. What day are we on? 143. 110% now. And we got a headache <laughs> for some reason. I heard the airfield is very a very shabby place. Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, I should just move the pot over here. Hang on. We're not taking the pot. Okay. Oh, we didn't even eat all of it. Oh my goodness. Let's grab a few torches. Hey, Ruak, man, everyone's in here today. Monk and Robot, welcome. I don't know if you've been in here before. Oh, yeah, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, Ruak, I, 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 made, a, I made a decision. You know, I, I slept on it and decided I needed to go back and make... I needed to make a knife, and I needed to uh, make a bow. Because my bow is at 40%. And I was afraid... Because I'm going to go from the airfield, I'm going to go over to the zone of contamination. And do and do the buried echo stuff. And I was afraid my bow was going to break. So I decided to come back here and make a knife. And make a bow. And so now... And we also made Lily's pancakes. Let's not forget that part. That was very important as well. So now we're headed back. I'm on, I think I was on 143? I think that's the day I'm on right now. Let's see. 143. So it's, uh, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there one day at a time. I've just been kind of slowly doing signal void. Oh, no, no, no. Let's just leave. Let's just let him go. Let's just let him go.
Yeah, this is basically a repeat of yesterday. Except for we're a little bit more prepared this time. That's that's about it. Oh, oh, and let's see. I don't. Oh, really? Okay, I didn't know that, Ruck. Yeah, that's true. It's true. I don't know. I'm not sure how to fix that, but I did. Uh, I did address the problem from yesterday. Last night, I think I fixed it where you can post clips from Twitch. It's weird because it, it had the filter was set for like quote unquote regulars, and I have absolutely no idea how to how to like designate uh, someone as a regular. So, but I did allow for for clips from Twitch to to be posted without getting banned. <laughs> so I I hope I fixed that. I I tried to fix it last night. So. Oh my god. But I said it for I, I changed the uh I changed the um <laughs> I changed it for for 1 minute instead of 5 minutes. So Ruak cuz I I did I was afraid like, well, what if what if I didn't do it right? Oh no, I did it again. Okay, I, obviously there's more work to be done. There's more work to be done, Shabby. I did, uh, I did take down the, the, I lowered the, I lowered the punishment though. <laughs> oh no, I feel so bad. I thought I fixed it. Okay, obviously I didn't. I gotta, I gotta go do something else, I guess. I have I, I obviously have some misunderstanding on on how this whole thing works. I don't know. Like I said it for basically it was like anything from Twitch. I think it was like twitch.tv or something was allowed. I don't know. Oh yeah, I set it for TV, so maybe the .com was <laughs> well okay all right where's the hacksaw now this well i gotta i gotta hand it to ruak he's not afraid to try he's not afraid free ruak hashtag free ruak <laughs> oh man okay well i'll go back to the drawing board sorry ruak Again, I don't want to I don't want to hinder the fun. We got to keep the fun going. That's the most important part. Oh wait. Is this the right way down? Something like that. Here we go. There we go. I have clip jail. <laughs> uh, no. Poor Ruak. I can't feel my hands. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it will. I. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought I fixed it. <laughs> Holes everywhere. You keep digging. You keep digging, Ruak. Oh my, whoa, that went flying. Okay, we were just through here. There's nothing to grab. There might be some coal down in the lower, like the big room part, but we're just gonna keep on keeping on, trying to get back to the depot. Back where this whole stream started. Oh, look at that. 
Nuka got through somehow. Nuka got through. VIP status. <laughs> so wait, Nuka is your name's Paige? Is that what's? Is that right? Do you go by Paige or Nuka? Don't click that. He's swearing. Oh no, that's fine. I just I censor myself because I mean I ha actually have a pretty dirty mouth, but uh. I put all the stuff on YouTube, so I'm like a little bit more, I don't know, I censor myself. But you guys can go ahead and, actually I actually don't know, I don't, I need to make sure my settings are okay for that too. Might get thrown in Twitter jail for that as well. Okay, I'll have to look at that clip here in a bit. That's true, Ruak. I think it's been. I think he's been. Uh, I think actually you were the first person that got thrown in jail in Twitter jail. I keep saying Twitter, Twitch jail. Whenever I think you you sent me a picture of uh, to feel of Poland with the, uh, you know, like a winter wintry Poland shot and. Uh, and you got you got banned for five minutes. So I think we'll add that one plus the three or four from the last few days. Yeah, you you definitely you're definitely top of the leaderboard. Okay, all right, let's warm up real quick. I uh, just let the, I'll just let it go out. We got really nice weather. Um, shoot. There we go. Let's warm up a little bit. Bada boom, bada bing. Shabba doo, shabba ding. I need snow. He's a repeat offender. Yeah, absolutely. Is that a wolf? I thought I saw a wolf. And eh, we'll see. Not wearing my vest, so okay, it is a wolf. Thought so. Oh, he's getting a rabbit. All right. Oh, there we go. Take this to the. Take this to the vacant depot. Oh no. Mirrored shades, look out. You can't trust that guy. Oh oh see you, Rock. I didn't see you. I didn't see you saying goodbye. Good night. Take care. Sorry about the sorry about the jail. Let's just have two rabbits. There we go. Boing. What we have here is failure to communicate with clips. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, absolutely, Nuka. Absolutely. Uh oh, wait a minute. Can't see. All right, let's just hustle back. We're hustling back.
I don't know why I'm in such a hurry. It's there's no reason to be. I think I'm actually I'm, I'm over my hour here. I'm like, okay, I gotta get, I gotta get going. I have maps I gotta make. It does. It goes by so fast. Sometimes I'm like, well, okay, I'm going to start the stream off. I'm going to do some gear sorting and I'm going to leave. And then, you know, you start and you're gear sorting. And the next thing you know, it's like 25 minutes have gone by. <laughs> How did that happen? Just sort my gear for 25 minutes. Yes, we got to jiggle some mice, exactly, let everyone know, yeah, the Shabby's still, still working away. Still working away, that's not, we haven't gone into rest mode or anything. It could be worse. This is always, almost always true. Almost always true, Laszlo. You're playing lo Loper settings with Stalker Loot Table. That's a fun, I'll, that is a fun one to play. But, I don't know, it's like, the gear, I don't know, I wish I could play, I wish I could find a really, like a nice little sweet spot between Loper and Stalker, but it's just very hard to find. You have True Travoy, yeah, yeah, because of all the Stalker Loot, right. You have two full Travois. Yes, exactly. That is a pain. It's like, what do I do with all this stuff? Oh, sure getting cold. I think, you know, if you play enough Loper, you just get this instinct about, like, I need to save everything. I need to hang on to everything. And then when you go down to, you know, once you, like, start Stalker loot, you still have that same mentality. And then you just end up with like a ton of stuff, like way too much stuff. Loper add guns, increase amount of wolves, and increase the wolf detection. That's a good... Yeah, I mean, I think gun loper... You know, forms of gun loper are pretty... Those, I, I, I really enjoy playing those modes. If I have stock or loot, it ends up being a little too easy. And I don't know if there's anything, even doing like stalker Nagoa, stalker loot with, with Nagoa settings, it still is like a little bit, I don't get, it, I don't know, like it's because you get the expedition parkas and things like that, it just... I don't know, it's just not as fun to me. But, like, Gun Loper is a good time, I think. But hey, to each their own. I'm not, it's definitely not saying one's better than the other. It's just like, that's what I like to do. I've never felt so cold okay. In my life. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot to pick up my, uh, I was talking and I forgot to grab the, uh, all right, we gotta go back down here. <laughs> I forgot to grab the, the ballistics vest. I just dropped it over here. I think. Let me make. Let me. Sh I'm freezing. Yeah. Oh wait, it's clothing. Yeah. Wait, where did we drop our freaking? Where did we drop it? On the track somewhere. How do we? N did no one see it? I think it was like over by the distempered black cars when I dropped it. Yeah, I love Bestie. My Bestie. Bestie's my Bestie. Bestie. <laughs> Maybe just... Oh, here it is. See, I almost walked right past it. Okay. Shoo! Okay, I'm glad I remembered that. My goodness, that could have been a disaster.
Yeah, the preppers. But you know what, Root Beard, I do. I like that. I re, I like having the random, randomly stocked prepper caches is fun because it you know it's like it makes you look for those bunkers and then you know you have that sort of anticipation like oh is there gonna be stuff in this one or not I love that feeling definitely one of the benefits of doing custom oh yeah I, I'll walk right past it I really did I don't know why it just kinda of blended in very nicely strangely enough I don't know Okay, folks, we gotta stop here. Shabby's got some data to crunch. I got some. I gotta jiggle my mouse a little bit, make everyone think I'm still working. Oh yeah, I love planning. I love planning, Laszlo. Okay, this journey has some plot twists today. Vesti got left. Yeah, Lampy. <laughs> And we nearly got fried. <laughs> yep. <laughs> For a run that just... If you just looked at it on paper, it wouldn't seem very exciting. Because we, we ran down to the Broken Railroad. And forged and then came back. But no, there was lots of twists and turns. Okay, folks. Man, there's a lot of people in here today. I really appreciate y'all popping in and spending some time with old Shabby. Doing his thing. And, uh... I hope uh, hope we all had a good time and uh, sorry Rack once again. I'll try. To, I'm gonna work on it some more tonight. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Um, and yeah, that's it. Okay, folks, everybody, take it shabby, and we'll see you next time. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Before I forget, let's save it. Okay, there we go. And with that, we'll see you next time, folks. Take it shabby. Sorry. I saw that. I saw that.